Here I am on day 11 on fruit. So I am starting on my grape fast tomorrow. So I haven't eaten anything except for fruit for the last uh, 11 days today. So I feel so much better mentally, physically, spiritually, all of the above. I feel 100% better. I just feel so good. Um, I started, I was at 244 pounds. And yesterday I weighed myself. I'm at 232. So I kind of plateaued because I was drinking processed juice. Although it was cold pressed, still I was drinking too much of it. But it still it's affecting me the same way as the processed. So my first few days on this, I... I've been 100% fruit, but on uh, the first few days I was doing orange juice, the um, one with nothing added to it, just orange juice, but it's pasteurized. And I was like, well, it's juice. It's I mean, it's fruit. So I, was, I got that. And then also I got uh, the same brand makes apple juice with nothing added, just straight juice. And... So drinking those affected me, and so, but then um, I was drinking too much, and that's the thing. Coming from the standard American diet, you have to drink because your food is so dehydrating. It's all dehydrated because it's cooked. There's no water in it, so your food is sucking the water out of everything in your body, and then you have to keep drinking because you're thirsty all the time but when you're eating on the fruit diet you're not even thirsty you just eat your fruit and so I did this before um I was raw for a long time almost seven years and mainly fruit at the end there it was 100% fruit and many times it was 100% fruit so I was saying that because um the heck was I talking about <laughs> the fruit there was a reason why I was trying to talk about, I forgot what I was talking about, but, um, shoot, let me think. I remember. <laughs> so it was the fruit and then I was talking about drinking water I and mean, we not drinking water, but drinking with the cooked food, you're always drinking, drinking, drinking. And so with the raw, with the fruit, when you're on a hundred percent fruit, you're not thirsty and you don't drink. So what I was trying to say was that when I was doing 100% fruit, I did, um, you know, and not, I mean, I did, I remember seven months straight, 100% fruit, not cheating at all. And then, um, but after that, it was like 99% fruit or 90, at least 90% fruit. Very rarely did I eat uh, vegetables. I mean, in the beginning I did. Um, but then all of a sudden it tapered off to be in, um, so I started with, uh, raw living foods, hundred percent fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and herbs. And then for the first year I ate all that. And then I got rid of the nuts and switched to seeds because I didn't want the protein, but then, you know, you're still getting protein with seeds. So, um, uh, but I, I needed to transition off the nuts. So I used the seeds and I came up with amazing recipes using seeds. And then, um, after that I got, it took me, so a year to get off the nuts and then probably six months to a year to get off the seeds. And then I was eating vegetables, fruits, vegetables, and herbs. And then eventually I didn't want the vegetables anymore. So then I was just eating fruit only and herbs here and there whenever I craved them. Like if the odor got to me, I'd be walking through the store and the cilantro was just like, oh my God, I got to have it or the mint or whatever, uh, thyme or any herbs, you know, it would just like attract you. It will attract you. And, but that's if, if you need it. You know, otherwise you're not even picking up on it. And that's how it was with the vegetables. All of a sudden, I just didn't want them anymore. And I wasn't picking up the the vibration from them. I'd be walking through the produce and I'm looking, 
the vegetables were retarded. They, they had no vibration. There was nothing coming from them. And the fruit were calling me. And the odors were attracting me. But the vegetables did nothing at all. So, um, and so what I was saying about the fruit was that when I was doing 100% fruit, I didn't drink water at all. And there was a time I did a whole year with no water at all. Uh, I was eating just mainly fruit. But I did have, like I said, you know, it was probably at least 90% fruit. And, um, but I did cheat with the raw gourmet with the nuts. That's right. Because, um, but I mean, I think I want to say 2022, I was just so hardcore 21 and 22. I mean, I've always been pretty hardcore, but, um, then I would go back and making these raw gourmet recipes, trying to figure out all these recipes. And I'm so glad I did because I came up with the world's greatest raw recipes and I have a book coming out eventually. And um going to be starting uh, some stuff going on. And I just, you know, I'm just coming out of it, you know, dealing with uh, the trauma from the last over a year. Now my mom passed last year and it's just really hit me hard. And so, but I'm getting through it. And, and I'll tell you, it's a lot easier with the raw food, but you can't just... You know, when you're going through emotional stuff, it's a lot easier said than done. So um, everybody is where they are, and we all just got to be conscious and aware of what's going on. You know, we have two versions of ourselves and several different versions of ourselves. So, I mean, I'm sure you can imagine 10 different versions of yourself. You know, if you did this, you would be this way. Or if I went that path, I would be like that. Or if I did this drug or drank that. Or if I did this for a career. Or, you know, think of about, uh, like, there's so many different versions of you. But what I'm saying is you can create the best version of yourself in your mind and then do it. Baby steps. Just Just put the vision in your mind who you want to be. I know who I want to be. I want to be who I was before, and it's really hard to get back to that. But uh, although I've totally found a new person and going through this emotional journey and dealing with everything, and and uh, man, it was it was a something, and it's been a journey. And I'm down for whatever because this is a journey. It's life, and and we're on a journey and you know all I'm saying is that there's several different journeys we could take but which one is the best version of yourself I mean think about what is the best version of you can you imagine it what you would look like what you would talk like what you would be doing for a career the people you would be socializing with or activities you would do I don't know, man. I'll tell you, when you lose everything, you find out who you really are. And I don't wish that on nobody, but you also find out who you really are when you go raw. And that's all I'm trying to do right now. I'm just trying to be me and you know, become myself, becoming who I really am. And the journey... And that's it. If you want to follow my journey, subscribe. So, um, going to be starting on my grapes tomorrow. We'll be day one on a grape fast, and I'm trying to go until December. So, follow my journey. It shall be interesting for sure.